like what do you think the problem is what do you what do you think in your opinion like what so many of their issues are with that all right, all right. there's a there's a multitude of reasons of why um uh, a lot of women um can attract uh alpha male number one i would say in america radical feminism right so um they're telling women that an alpha male is toxic you know a guy that's strong a guy that's confident a guy that's masculine, a guy that's an alpha, a guy that's a leader, a guy that's not afraid to challenge you, not afraid to tell you his standards um, as a woman, you know. Um, they're telling women that, uh, yeah, yeah, this guy's toxic. It's called toxic masculinity, right? So, yeah. they're telling, so they're telling women that these guys are not the, if, if a guy, the word masculine itself, a lot of women, when they hear that, the, the, the first thought is like suppression. You know, when you meet a guy, that's what a lot of the feminists, if you, when I talk to very women who are, uh, uh, who are uh, the radical feminists? As soon as I, if I, if I, if, as a man, uh, if I, if I talk about my masculinity, uh, being strong, independent of what I want in a woman, uh, they automatically they think I'm suppressing them, or I'm trying to put them down. So that's one of the reasons, right? Uh, the, the problem with uh, a lot of women also, and also because of radical feminism, uh, a lot of women don't know what these men are looking for. So feminism, what what they're, what they're telling women is, hey. Uh, live live how you want. So a lot of the things, so we live in a society today, they're empowering women to live however they want, be whoever they want, which I don't mind. Like you said, I'm not going to, whatever you want to live your life, go ahead. That's fine. I'm not going to judge anybody for the choices, but there are consequences to the choices you make, especially if you're trying to attract a certain type of person. So the perfect example I would use, both you guys ladies said, hey, you guys don't want a bum. You guys don't want, a, don't want a guy that has a plan for his future. So as a man, if I want to attract a good woman. I want to attract a woman that's going to be loyal, a woman that uh, is going to be a good uh, mother for my child. Then I have to go out there and work. I have to be able to stand on my own two feet. I have to get a job, have a career, I'm building something. I have to work on myself to be able to be a masculine, be confident, and be a great leader. Those are things I'm looking for. Um, but the thing is, for a lot of women, because of radical the feminism, like they don't know what these guys are looking for. They think that what these guys are looking for are the same things they're looking for, but Guys are very alpha. They're always looking for the same thing. They just want a very feminine woman. They just want a woman to be the nurturing, the caring, the loving, um, and uh, they don't want to. And they don't want to hope. <laughs> right? They don't want a promiscuous woman, right? They don't want a woman that's uh, that's uh, that's trying to be a man. That's trying to be the alpha. Trying to be the leader in the relationship. A very yeah. alpha, alpha masculine man. He is comfortable comfortable in his masculinity, and he wants to lead. It's just natural in his role. So he's not looking for the strong, independent. A masculine woman he's looking for the feminine woman so th the problem with the today is a lot of the women today is a lot of them are masculine and then uh because you know uh oh, the the biggest thing is because you guys have the opportunity the good thing about women today you have the opportunity to choose a career which, which was different before 1960 right because you were already yeah. limited so now you guys have the opportunity which is great I, i'm all i'm a big advocate yeah go have there, be successful whatever dreams and goals you guys want to achieve that's great but the thing is, in, when a woman, in order for you to succeed in the, in the workplace with very male dominant, depending on the industry that you want to go into, you have to become, and you have to have certain masculine traits. So a lot of times, very career oriented women become very masculine themselves, but the, which is fine, but you can't bring that into a relationship. So go be dominant at, at the workplace, be dominant at, at, at your career. But when you come home, you need to sweep, put on that femininity hat yeah. right? for your man, right? And a lot of women don't know how to switch, right? And if they do switch, and, you, and if you do tell a woman, hey, you need to be feminine, they, they think, oh, they think that it's being suppressive. Like, why can't you just, no, it's just, we're different, you know? And, um, and that's one of the things, so that's, that, that's the biggest thing, just, you can attract, you can attract a masculine man, is you just gotta be a feminine woman, you yeah. know? It's just a lot, the thing is because of society today, you know, there's no such thing as gender. Um, a, lot, a lot of times women, the, we talked about it in the last podcast. The, the rise of single motherhood. These women, because you you uh, if you grow up in a, in a in a household that your mom raised you, your mom is very masculine because she has to fulfill both roles. There was no father figure in the household, so the mom had to be masculine in order to take care of the kids. So they get that example from their mom. So the the, the daughters of single moms become masculine themselves, and they're not used to a guy that that's going to challenge them, that's going to exert his authority because. The woman was the one in charge of the household. So when they finally meet an alpha masculine guy, 
and he's exerting his authority. He's telling her, hey, look, your guy friends, cut that shit out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's not used to that. She's not used to a guy coming in her life and tell, giving her boundaries, telling her, hey, I'm the man. I'm the leader. This is this is how I run. This is what I do. And if you want to be with me, this is how I'm going to roll. They're not used to that. You know, I'm not even, yeah. I'm, they're not used to that, that male authority in their life. Um, and because they're already masculine themselves, you know, they, they want to be the man. It, it's just conflict with the, when they, when they meet an alpha masculine man. So I think, I, I don't know if it was, it was Saida who said it or were you, the strength of a woman is not, is her femininity. I always say woman, that's, that's the beauty and the strength of a, of a woman is, is your femininity to be able to make a masculine man vulnerable. You know, a masculine man, like I, I seek vulnerability. I want to be vulnerable for the right woman. I'm not going to be a vulnerable yeah. help. <laughs> but yeah, also submissive for the right men. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, 